It's that time once again, those last few moments of anticipation before lights out and the charge towards turn one. Which of these young drivers will come out on top at Paul Ricard today? Stay with us to find out as we get today's race underway. Today's drivers need to master the 15 corners of Paul Ricard, six left-handers and nine right, spaced around the 3.6 mile circuit. The longest section is the famous Mistral Straight, which is split into two by the colorful Chacan Nord, which offers a potential overtaking hotspot. But the drivers there need to take care. Those brightly colored stripes don't offer much grip and won't be kind to tires. As we await the start of another hugely anticipated Formula 2 race, I'm joined again by Davide Valsecchi. Davide, as a former GP2 champion, can we get some insight to what is running through these young drivers' heads as they sit out on the grid? Ciao, Alex. It's a pleasure to be here. They are nervy moments. There is no doubts about that. Mental strength is the key to remaining calm and focusing on the upcoming race. Formula 2 is so competitive and all of these drivers know that they are going to be pushing each other all of the way. In these sports, you have to be able to control your nerves. Well then, after an exciting session yesterday, let's take a look at how the cars line up. A fantastic effort from Christian Lungard yesterday puts him on pole position, with Teo Porcher starting alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Tictum, Deruvula, Guan Yu Zhou, and Dragovic, Armstrong, Piastri, Schwartzman, Roy Nisani, Boschon, Samaya, Lorim Zendeli, and Aitkin, Asharus, Beckman, Fashur, and Ben Viscal, Lawson, Sato, Deleda, and Yuri Vips starts from the back of the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. We're in the top 10 now, keep it up.
track is clear. Green flag. Nice work, that brings you up a place. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. That's the end of the race, we'll see you in Park Fermi. A great win then for the ART team today. And I have to wonder, Davide Valsecchi, just what set them apart from the competition here? It was down to one thing consistent pace over everyone else out there on the track. We could spend a great deal of time talking about race and tire strategy, what has occurred on the track, but at the end of the day, the difference here was down to simply being faster on track than everyone else. Amazing skill on show. ART, the French team who have been racing since the 90s in various forms of most sport, are once again back on the winner's podium today after a brilliant display of driving skill.
After this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. After all this drama, you'll be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care.